The Modern Age In 2010, the human race can be best described as consumers first and people second. As consumers, we have placed great importance on the products we consume. Technological innovations have been developed to cater to these needs, even here in Aotearoa. But how fast is too fast? Massey Wellington student Maxwell Johnson has been studying a philosophy degree for nearly three years. Soon he'll be celebrating his 25th birthday and his achievements are few and far between. But in two weeks time he'll bravely attempt, along with two others, a shot at New Zealand's second annual gay meal eating competition. 24 years of age, uh, originally born and bred in Featherston, which is up uh, by Masterton area. Five, five years ago there was um, a murder there, um, but uh, it wasn't me officer, <laughs> it was at the pub. Yeah. I'm not the most successful person, I'm pretty modest I guess. I really haven't achieved much in my mere 24 years I've been here on this earth and then I came across this uh, gay meal challenge. I was like, oh man, that kind of sounds like, sounds like something I could do. The gay meal challenge is a current phenomenon which has been sweeping New Zealand households and restaurants. Yeah. yeah we on? Are we on? Yeah. We on? It's gonna be wrapped. It's gonna be wrapped. It's a second though. It's a second in the wrapper. It's a second. Don't rush me! You're not the one doing this. You couldn't do this. We... Right. 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 Some believe it could soon be considered along famous Kiwi icons such as the Buzzy Bee, Kiwi Fruit, and the Undy 500. These dickheads came in last week and they were doing uh, that thing. And one of them fucking pussy like spewed all his shit and I had to clean it. Fucking dickhead. But yeah, it's good. We get lots of business now, so. Uh, the Game Meal Challenge is a challenge. Uh, the consumption of uh, hamburger, fries, and a beverage as quickly as possible. Um, a lot of people, I think the benchmark is under a minute. Uh, what's One what's minute time? Bullshit! 80 people in milliseconds. Yeah. Bullshit. It's not my best time. Not my best time by far. I wasn't in the best of shape, but then when I heard about this gay meal challenge, I thought, well, look, you know, this is a good, this is a good opportunity for me to kind of do some actual fitness. And um, so I've been um, down at the Newtown Park doing squats and you know, jogging and um, playing on the playing on the playground. You know, the I'll just make little obstacles in my head. So um, I think that's my uh, preparation for it. But um, some people, I mean, whoever else is doing the gay meal challenge will probably have something uh, something else in mind to prepare them. I, know, I suppose it varies from person to person, yeah. Stay-at-home mum Gillian Johnson has been Max's main support and lead-up to the challenge. He's finally realised that he needs to do something with himself and... This is a great opportunity because, you know, it really put his name on the map. He hasn't really had too much to work for in his life. Um, he, he's just been kind of plodding along, kind of ho-hum, ho-hum. Well, I'm not going to lie, tensions have been running high. Stop sign, Mum! Fuck! Mum! Shit. Yep, go, go. It is four days out from the challenge and tensions have been high at the Johnson household. Cheeseburgers! The no, competition's based on cheeseburgers. Um, and you're sitting up this shit. You obviously don't fucking care, so fuck it. It's the day of the challenge, and Max believes his destiny is within reach. Um, just listen to a bit of music as a uh, preparation. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five when um, one of my classmates gave me this song, The Message. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how people are going under. Yeah, you know that one? Yeah, it's a, it's a new song. Max is joined by Massey lecturer Leonardo Lima in his second attempt and design student and debutante Chris Dipuna. Challenge organiser Barry Strauger enforces strict rules and conditions for the competitors. Great turnout. 
Uh, just the rules, okay? You must start with the bag closed. Please close the bag there, Maxwell. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Okay. On my countdown. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Maxwell gets off to a strong start, but his destiny is far from assured. Sorry, Maxwell. Sorry, Maxwell. I'm gone. Sorry, Maxwell, you're gone. You spilt your drink. You're actually gone. Despite desperate pleading to challenge organiser Barry Strauger, Maxwell is forced to give up on the challenge. The eventual winner of the challenge is Leonardo Lima, last year's runner-up. Well, um, Maxwell is in a bit of a panic there, and uh, he pulled his chips out, and as he did that, I think he was trying to reach for the toy at the same time, and knocked his drink over, spilt it everywhere. Um, it was very unfortunate for Maxwell. He had a good chance this year, but yeah, uh, it's a shame. As you can see, he's, he's very disappointed. But I hope it doesn't put him off coming back next year. Six months on from the incident, Maxwell Johnson has come a long way and is a new man. So now that I've got that game meal fast out of the way, I'm, in a, I'm focusing on my, on my studies and um, actually, Mum, can you hand that? Um, he's up on the burgers, you get that? Kind of tied into uh, a more bigger debate. I mean, um, binge eating's uh, not the way to go. But uh, it's a gaming challenge for me to find that out. Through his attempts for fast food glory, Max learned some of life's toughest lessons. But now, with a new venture, the future is all the more brighter.